Thank you to Flexiel for sponsoring this video so that we can increase awareness for when severe weather strikes. In this video, we show the deployment of a storm surge sensor ahead of Category 3 Hurricane Adalia that made landfall on August 30th, 2023. This map shows how vulnerable the nature coast of Northwest Florida is to storm surge flooding from a hurricane. The red areas show total inundation from storm surge flooding with areas like Steenhatchee, Horseshoe Beach, and Cedar Key to be completely underwater with a hurricane passing just to the north. So we've got a storm surge sensor. It doesn't have the live streaming unit. This is the battery pack right here. And this is the surgeonator sensor. So this measures storm surge depth. It measures the salinity of the water and it even measures the temperature of the water as well. And it uses all that information along with the pressure weight to come up with a storm surge depth. And so we're gonna deploy this here right on Cedar Key where we expect like an eight to 12 foot surge. I'm gonna use flex tape to mount this thing and then we'll come back after the storm and then we'll recover this sensor. So this is the Gulf of Mexico out here. And that's gonna be coming up at high tide, which is 2.30 in the morning. That'll be up probably 10 to 15 feet. Whoa! Gonna have to get off this pretty soon. Do we wanna walk through? Come on, Andy. This is the battery pack, and then we'll come back and recover this after the storm to get the full data wave by wave resolution. This hotel here had water up six feet deep during Hurricane Hermine that was a category one. Similar, maybe a lot more water, potentially double digit storm surge expected today. And this Gulf of Mexico is gonna be well inland. Water 10 to 15 feet deep.
thank you to Flex Seal for sponsoring this video so that we can increase awareness for when severe weather strikes.